man the natural man is one who is born you are just born by a woman you are a natural man you live entirely from the impulses of this realm the natural man the natural man please look up from the kingdom's perspective even a herbalist and a spiritist is a natural man notice the choice of i, I love the bible he said the natural man received not the things of what a spirit he said the spirit of god that means you can receive something of another spirit are you following me now so that you don't say what of herbalist uh -uh. the bible says this is the test for a natural man he cannot receive the things of god see let me tell you this is the reason why in many churches once it's time for salmon that's the time your body will start pinching you you want to ease yourself that's the time you are snoring and you are sleeping they acted drama for one hour you were laughing you didn't sleep the moment the preacher just comes god has something to say sleep just comes the reason is because you have not opened up your spirit to value the word of god and what it can put in your life hallelujah a lot of people go for meetings and you don't know that some of these things are orchestrated by demons you just see people uncomfortable when the word comes it's as if they want to go they say kai time is up but you will share the grace and you see them waiting outside gisting buying minerals buying ice cream what was the hurry for are you following me now are you seeing the reason why when you start engaging yourself in worship the first few times it will be like a sacrifice that you will die because you are you are challenging your flesh your flesh cannot stand that glory that's why many of you will be restless is is the same way you see people react when the power of god comes that's why when you put worship songs all kinds of things ah you have not washed your clothes oh. ah did you reply that text messages but over time as you grow you will learn to suppress and by the authority of the spirit you can wait so you can see somebody just go to pray and he can lie down let the whole world catch fire he has been able to become a spiritual man are you getting me so we all start from that realm of what a natural man hallelujah the natural man one who is not born again at all you've not given your heart to the lord you cannot perceive of spiritual things for instance there are some of you who before you got born again some of you were unbelievers then some of you were not even christians when you saw believers praying in tongues or holding themselves to pray you just say man let's watch this drama that is going on and you are laughing at them and then later you see somebody fall and you're like ah the natural man then one day it started making sense to you you either you you got close to believers or people that love god and it wasn't becoming a funny issue again there are some of you the first day you spoke in tongues you were laughing at yourself you were even ashamed to say it outside you just went to lock yourself say pastor jakes what did jakes do for me like this are you following me now say i refuse to be a natural man number two we have those we call carnal christians the word carnal is not an insult it's just the way we shout it that makes people angry carnal is not the word carnal just means sense driven write it sense driven so you are born again but you are driven by your senses your five senses your sense of taste your sense of touch those kinds of people come fast if there's no food you can stay from one to three so long as you are not fasting but the day you are fasting by nine o'clock you're already sweating you see that on a very good day even by nine you will not have eaten but because you mentioned that word fasting your body said we'll see today by two you are sweating they say we have four more hours to go and you can't believe it by five o'clock you are already almost half dead as soon as they say the grace of our lord jesus christ you can't even wait that's why sometimes the church will even prepare something and say please please just wage it before you go to the restaurant hallelujah you know carnal christians 
by their words, by their actions. The Bible says, when I was a child, void of knowledge, void of growth. Hallelujah. He said, I spoke like a child. I understood like a child. I thought like a child. Look up, please. So, they are born again. They are born again. In fact, they are even filled with the Holy Spirit. But you hear them tell you, see, the next time that sister troubles me, I swear, I'm saying it now, let God be my witness. You are even asking God to be your witness. Because you do not yet know the Lord. You've just heard about Him. You've not had an encounter that has put a spirit of reverence in you. Are you following me now? When the going gets tough, you can do malpractice. You understand? When it gets tough, if one allow you send you text, you say, Well, me, I won't go out with him, oh, but God knows I will collect whatever. I won't tell him no, I won't tell him yes. At least God will not. You see, that's it. listen. Many believers in the body of Christ are in this realm. Are you listening to me? We can talk, you see. The language of church. There are people who are not born again. Nollywood. They have acted pastor in Nigerian films. They know the language. They even pray in tongues in the Nigerian film. But it doesn't mean they are it. Praise the Lord. Many of us are not born again indeed. You are carnal, Ruled by your senses. When you check your bank balance. And you see 2000 naira. Your body starts shaking. Hey, I need money. Oh God, fire brigade, prayer that has no head and no tail. That is out of fear, not faith. Oh God, you have to do this. You promise me. I take your word before you. You send almost five pastors a text. You send to one, he say it is done. He say no way, it's not done. Until it happens, you are a canal. There are people like that. Once someone is down, everybody they can call, everything that can happen, they can run from room to room, telling people things you shouldn't tell them because you are governed by your senses. Hallelujah. You just went to bath and you saw a lump in your breast. Everybody just say, what is wrong? You are not normal. I say, nothing. Say, what is wrong? You say, me. Me. With all my coming to Koinonia. Now you are saying, God, I'm doing this. Blah, 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 blah. The next thing you are talking, you see. There are many believers. Many of our families are in that realm. We are refusing to grow. This is what happens to many of our fathers. Look at this. Have you noticed that many of our fathers were better Christians when they were young? Correct? As they began to grow old, God didn't make sense again. It tells you. You see why I'm teaching you this? Many of you are students. You are not shouldering your finances. You are not shouldering anything. There are a few people that are workers and family members here but predominantly many of us are students somebody is sponsoring you so you've not been exposed to the reality of life are you following me now so some of these messages when i preach you need to see me preach in other places that is not koinonia and see the way the men grab these teachings because they can now relate with it for now it's not necessarily your faith that is bringing your provision for many of you whether you believe god or not at the end of the month you are receiving an alert so you are not yet sure many of you just keep giving tight all the time and you think you're a man of faith hold on the day your father tells you say look young man you are you are now behaving very responsible this is to announce to you that the next time you are coming you are getting out of my house please you can fend for yourself at your age i was already married out of my house then you leave listen listen then after one month or two months nothing happens to you again and you get angry at everybody so since this was a true state but you kept deceiving yourself on other people's this is why i'm teaching you this now some of you are being shielded now learn it before they expose you to the reality of life that's why at age 40 41 there are some people that are angry forever even if they are laughing the life they are they are they are mad at god that's why when they get any political office or as a man of god if they see any money or offering or whatever they won't let it rest because at this point now are you listening to me fear has come into them 
This is why many of our parents run back to the village. Some of them are choir masters in their churches and they sing songs. My faith is, my hope is built on nothing else. And you see them do it with zeal. Immediately they finish. Monday, they're on their way to the airport. Where are you going? You are spending so much money. They will go and meet one baba. Now, please help me. You just sang that your hope is built on what? Nothing less. The next minute, you are consulting something. Then, you consult that thing and get a contract and you come and tell people, praise the Lord. When Papa prayed for me, I just slept. And like magic, everybody say magic, magic. And who is deceiving who? Hallelujah. Because you see, many of us are in this realm. Some of us, it took the hand of God to bring you back to the things of the spirit. The first day you came to 100 level, bubbling and saying, yes, every prophecy you had, you just checked your result. You saw 2.1, 2 carry over. I said, God, I don't understand. What did I do wrong? Is it that my prayer request didn't reach here? Or they didn't see it? Something begins to happen to you. When you hear somebody comes to testify, praise the Lord, I got 4.6. You say, look, what is going on in this place? Is it that there are some people? Go, you see, and then you hear people say, some of us, oh, we are not the people of God. 